cancer, here we go. A little cure for cancer here. My pre-shuffle, bottom of the deck, the hermit. Somebody's thinking about you. I'll tell you what, this is a cure for cancer. I know we need a theme song. I do. I should get my guitar out, do a theme song for all of these. What's going on with your person, cancer? Cancer Leo axis. This is for cancer, sun, sun, sun moon, rising Ve Venus. Oh, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, too. I mean, I'm telling you, don't matter which one. Uh, if you don't know about the Cancer Leo axis, well, I'm, if you're new here, go check my timeless set. Go find some videos. I talk about it a lot. I'll do a mailbag on it at some point. This is a general reading. May or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. Cancer, what's your person thinking and feeling about you right now? Let's see what's going on. Well, we know they're thinking. I had that hermit in my pre-shuffle I just showed you. <laughs> Thinking a lot. Let me tell you what, that eclipse. I got an all signs reading I just put up today, May 23rd, 2021. I strongly encourage cancer. Go over there and watch that. That's <laughs> in no small part for you. <laughs> your, your energy was all through that. You are the most powerful soulmate connection in the damn universe right now. Anybody tells you differently, they're a damn fool. <laughs> Send them my way. I'll go ahead and tell them that. I'll school them. I'll tell you what. All right, let me cut the deck. Let's see what's going on. All right, this is going to set the tone. This, Cure for Cancer, and that All Signs video I just did today are going to set the tone for the June readings, which your June readings is going to be up in the next couple of days. I haven't pulled it yet, but I will. But I'm pulling this. Now, I'm going to use this as a baseline for it. I'll tell you what. Because uh, that June reading is going to come up before the eclipse or around the eclipse. <laughs> oh my God. I wish I wish I filmed myself 24-7 so you could see this. When I picked up the cards, see I sit down my cards are like this. Cancer. This is how my cards are when I walk in. I walk in, I sit down in my chair, I put my microphone on. I got a big note that says, put your microphone on, dumbass. Because I forget sometimes. And I picked up the cards. Didn't be this is before my pre shuffle. I showed you I had the hermit in the pre shuffle, right? This is before the pre shuffle. So I pick them up and I load the software and then I grab the cards and I, st I start shuffling. But I take a look at the bottom of the deck where it left off when I pick it up. This is the card that was there. It's the Eight of Wands. It's back. Communication. Forward movement. The card of communication in the tarot. Straight up forward movement this card was there this was when I picked up the deck and now it's back after a shuffle after a pre-shuffle a cut a shuffle and then a cut and then another shuffle from my final shuffle that's how I do things pre-shuffle shuffle cut shuffle the universe knows that it's trained to know me eight of wands oh, that, that's some shit right there I'm gonna take that out because it came up twice and right underneath it is the Queen of Cups. And right underneath that is the Wheel of Fortune. And right underneath that, well, is, is the Nine of Pentacles. I never pull more than five from the bottom of the deck. That's four. Number five is Judgment. Yeah, you need to watch that All Signs reading. All this came up in there at some point. I don't know about the Nine of Pentacles, but this did, this did, this did. This didn't. This is for you. This is special for you. Listen, this energy, and underneath it, I don't go six deep usually, but underneath that, after judgment is the death card, by the way, which is very good. After the judgment card, it's, it's rebirth and then transformation. It all starts with communication. All right, I'm just going to leave these here on the table as the bottom of the deck. All right, This is some shit. I think we got the right shuffle. With that card coming back, that's a damn coincidence. And there's no such thing as coincidences. Coinc even I don't care if you ask a cop, a doctor, a judge, or a lawyer. They're all going to tell you there's no such thing as coincidences. Oh, you just happened to have that person's blood on you because you, you leaned over to see if they were alive and you got completely covered in their blood. That's a coincidence, is it? You know, it might be. Lots of innocent people sitting in jail because of it. But, you know, if, if you dig into those people, let's say that person was innocent and they really did just lean over the body and that's how they got the blood on them. If you dig into that person, I think you find 
that they're not that innocent in other areas of life. The universe, karma, all karmic debts are paid. So uh, I, I've often found that. I've, I've done research on that supposed innocent. Yeah, they're innocent in jail for one thing, but they did all sorts of other shit. I mean, so the universe just sort of spanked them for it. Anyway, my point is there's no coincidences here. That, that that card came up again. Let's pull some cards. Well, my deck is upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. The world is the first card out. The most powerful damn card in the damn tarot deck. The nine of cups. Holy shit. And the tower. Your person. <laughs> I don't even. And the ten of wands. We'll, we'll go ahead and do a four banger this time. It don't matter. Ten of Wands. <laughs> Jeez. These two cards are read together. We got the world stepping in here. You need to watch that All Signs reading. And you need to pay attention to that All Signs reading and this reading when, when your June reading goes up. Because the shit is, the wick is hitting the dynamite right now. Okay, your person it needs to talk to you. I, that's the message I get from the universe. They need to talk to you. They know that they... they I don't know what this tower is. I, I, I'm, I'm going to clarify in a second but I, all these cards together tell me a story they tell me these bottom cards here tell me they know they want to communicate with you there's a lot they want to say to you they got a lot of love for you this wheel of fortune here is the wheel turning in your favor they're intimidated by you a little bit though nine of pentacles they know you don't need them they need you more than you need them I swear to God that's the energy off that card and judgment right here tells me this isn't over it might even look over right now to a lot of you or maybe to them and that's what this tower is it looks over to them but it isn't judgment is a powerful card we saw this in your last cure for cancer this came up I told you all about it I'm not gonna repeat myself this is resurrection this is communication too with the birds on the card over here we got the world most powerful card in the, in the tarot it is the universe. Don't let anyone tell you different. I'm tired of this card falling out of favor for other prettier cards like the sun and all that. Oh, yeah. Fuck the sun. That's the world. That's what you want coming up in your reading in the first position. Ah, damn. Ask any any real tarot reader, any gypsy. They'll tell you that. Well, oh, you got the world. Wow. That, you know, you know, whoa. Hey, you know. I know they don't all sound like Christopher Walken. I just do Christopher Walken. But anyway, right here. One cycle ending, another cycle beginning, and it's a cycle of burden. This has been heavy on your person's mind. We saw the hermit in the pre-shuffle. And this damn eight of wands came twice. It was when I picked up the deck, and after I finished all my shit, it ended up back. Not only did it end up back at the bottom of the deck, it had all this wonderful stuff underneath it. Just a gold mine. It's like we hit the gold rush right here. And right here. Okay, so, so these are the bookends. But right here, these two are read together. You're their wish fulfilled, and they're having some kind of tower. I'm going to clarify these cards right here. I mostly want to just t clarify this tower. What's this tower about? The other ones are easy. I know We know you're, the, you're their wish fulfilled, and a cycle is turning here. I'm going to clarify the world too, but first I'm going to do the, the, t the tower. Tell me about this tower, universe. All right. I try to keep these cure for cancer short, but... Jesus Christ, something always happens. Something always freaking happens. It's like Thanksgiving at my house. It really is. You just want to have a simple dinner. You think it's going to be nice and easy. The turkey came out great. And then some aunt or uncle opens the damn mouth about something they should be shutting up about, and it all goes tower on you. Happens every damn year. Yeah, the tower. Divorce. Justice. It's something. Karma balancing. For some of you, your person... I'm telling you, it keeps coming up, and it's around this eclipse. This is as close to the eclipse as we're going to get with a cure for cancer, because I'm going to be busy with the June readings. All right? And I'm going to pull your June reading as close to that damn eclipse as I can. I promise you. Tuesday, Wednesday, on it if I can. I don't know. But it's going to be close to it. But this is as close as we're getting right now. And this keeps coming up. For some of you, if your person's in a third party, if you're in a third party, and your person's like married or some shit, they are getting a divorce. It, it, is, it is chaos on their end. And they're keeping quiet about it. They're keeping quiet about it. I feel that in the energy. What, what, what else can you tell me about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Knight of Swords reversed. And it came out reversed. My, my deck ain't upside down and the card underneath it isn't upside down. Reverse Knight of Swords. Something just, they, they're backing up. They're putting it in reverse and, and backing over this person. They already ran this person over, with whatever this judgment or, or this justice is. They already ran it over. If it's a job, if it's a, a person, if it's a marriage, whatever, they've, they've run it over. They're done. They're not giving to it. And this right here, Knight of Swords, is them backing up over it again just to make sure it's dead. I'm telling you, that's what's going on. There's something big happening on your person's end. And it's more than just an epiphany. I truly get that. It's not an epiphany. What's this world? Let me pull a couple of cards on this world here. Damn. I can feel that too. I know. I know not all of you are in a third party, so it doesn't have to be a divorce. It's just something. This person is freaking out. It's a re, you're a real burden on their mind, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean they're sitting around going, "Oh shit, that damn cancer." Ugh. you know, no, they're not looking to get chemotherapy and get rid of you. No, no, it's the opposite. It, it's. Eight of Wands came, will not go away in this reading. Will not go away. Just like the Two of Cups wouldn't go away in another recent one. What's this world? Yeah, they're, man they're manifesting this whole thing. They're just sitting around daydreaming about you. Thinking about you. You are in there. That's why that Hermit came out in my pre-shuffle. That's why this Wheel of Fortune's here. That's why Judgment's here. Okay, this tower doesn't have anything to do with you. This burden does. This ten of wands does because it's tied to the world. The world has to do with you. The world is about one cycle ending and another cycle beginning. Something's ending on your person's side so they can come toward you. And they're manifesting this. This is right here. It's manifesting. What, what else? Yeah, page of pentacles. Communication. They're, they're really planning to come in and talk to you. I swear to God, and I know you don't believe it. I don't even freaking believe it. I've been pulling cards on this person. Your person. Your person. Whoever the hell they are. I've been pulling cards on this person since way before you ever heard of Steve's Love Tarot. Since way before Steve's Love Tarot even got created on YouTube. Because I pulled cards before I came here, of course. I've been pulling cards for 30 years, and I pulled them last year. Do private clients and things like that. I got annoyed with that. I like this better. I like you guys. Can't can't really use my sense of humor with private clients. You know, I can't say things like like I said in the all signs reading about everybody in the car having to take a piss. Can't really say that. I like to be myself. And here I get to be myself. Which makes me read the energy better. Which makes me surprised to tell you there is this person is communicating with you at some damn point all right just give me an overall here just i'm not going to clarify the nine of cups or the or, or the or the ten of wands i don't care i don't, I don't care about them they're little rinky dink cards talking to the universe give me some overall here what the hell can cancer expect from this person what can Cancer expect in their June reading? How about that? Give me that, because I'm going to be pulling that in the next couple of days. Tell me what's going on here, universe. Tell, okay, it wants me to keep shuffling. All right. All right. Okay. All right, we're going to do a flash read here. Here we go. Ah, oh, there it is. I just picked on it a minute ago. I said, I who gives a crap about the damn sun? The sun. You're making, you are their happiness. And this is, this is coming out right after the Page of Pentacles. This is Chatty Cathy. It's the opposite to the moon, Silent Bob. This person knows they need to tell you, explain some things. And, and I think they're going to explain all about what this tower and this justice is. All right. This is, this is pretty powerful shit. And these two cards right here, energetically, the, the justice card and this knight of swords, are color-wise the same. And in fact, with this card reversed, because of the patterning on the card, I know it's hard to see, the patterning moves with the sword. It moves downward. You can see it's like a triangle. Well, the only way that happens with this card is if it's upside down. Otherwise, it's reversed. The patterning on this card moves like, like a triangle. You can kind of see it there. These cards mesh. That's why I said they're leaving something or someone on their side probably a divorce for a lot of you and they're backing over i mean they're not they're not looking back they are they're putting the car well 
they are looking back, but, but they're putting the truck in reverse and backing over it to make sure it's good and dead. And whatever it is, it's bringing their whole world down. Or your person's probably, for some of you, your person's losing some money on this deal. Yeah, they've, they've gone through a lot of healing. They've done a lot of thinking. The Four of Swords. And there it is. This is why you need to watch the All Signs reading. All Signs reading, very strong. Cancer, Leo, Axis, Energy. Had a lot of other signs in there too, which I mentioned. It's not, it is for everybody, but you guys are very strong in there. And I want you to pair the All Signs reading I did today on the 23rd of May. It's got an extended if you want it uh, with your June reading. I want you to use it as a baseline. I want you to use this as a baseline. All right? Because uh, there it is. It's the Ace of Pentacles, which is finally, based on these three cards here, is finally, again, like I said, in the All Signs reading in the parking space. It, it has made it to the rest area. All right? It is there. It is at its destination. It takes a long time for the Ace of Pentacles. It's a very slow energy. Makes the Knight of Pentacles, which is really slow, seem like Speed Racer. It really does. This is this is slow, and uh, it's it's there. It, it in the All Signs, it's in their emotions. Right here, it's in the universe. It's 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 right there, and it's sitting right on top of this shit too. How how about that? Holy crap! Now your person has a few fears. All right, this is a card that's coming up a lot. Okay, there's two cards that are coming up a lot in the June energies as i pull my i pulled uh, one or two signs or uh, one sign already um there are some fears i'm just going to tell you about them seven of swords and the four of cups now the four of cups isn't always a fear card but in your case it is and it's clarifying the uh, seven of swords the seven of swords here again this is this is someone who's holding something back they're not you're going to feel this person is this person has a lot to tell you with this Chatty Cathy card here and in, in these communications. But 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 I, the cards of communication, the primary cards of communication I got towards you are Minor Arcana and, and a page. Okay? Um, keep, keep that in mind. Okay? Seven of Swords. You're not being told everything. Because we know from right here, Queen of Cups was the next card out. That's the amount of love they have for you. Again, watch that All Signs reading and pay attention. It's a very important reading. I pull a lot of extra cards in that reading, even just in the main baseline reading. Uh, but the uh, extended is off the chain. I mean, it's just, okay, right, got it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this Four of Cups, they, they are afraid, for some reason, they're really, they are, and I say it a lot, they're really afraid that you're going to turn down, you're going to do to them what they did to you, is the message I get from the universe. Um, and the thought of being rejected by you is a problem. This person has some, uh, I'm going to tell you right now from looking at these cards, when I see the Nine of Cups and I see the Ten of Wands, I know, and, and don't ask me how, it's energetic. I just know from 30 years experience pulling cards, when these pull together, even is, even split by one card, it don't matter. Um, this person has a lot of pretense in their energy. This person is uh, worried about what other people think. And that's part of what this tower is over here. Okay, that's part of what this tower is over here with this justice card. All right, yeah, they're leaving something, but but part of it is this in, 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 ingrained, core programmed worry in this person of what other people think. It's really there. I don't know why. Some people are just like that. Me, I don't care what people think. I go to the damn grocery store at two o'clock in the morning if I need a snack and a pair of boxer underwear and flip flops. I don't give a damn. Uh, you know. I, but some people care what people think. And, and those people usually are stressed out and they got anxiety because we can't control what other people think. I don't know what you all think of me. I mean, there's probably somebody out there watching going, this guy is messed up. What's he talking about? Well, I don't know. Uh, I, you know, <laughs> we're all, all of us, me, you, anyone. We're, we're not for everyone. We're not everyone's cup of tea. And the people we are the cup of tea, that's great. Your person who tries to be everybody's cup of tea. They want to make sure that they're everyone's cup of tea. It drives them mad. And that's part of what this tower is about. But it's not. It's, all, it's not all of it. A good chunk of this tower is something's coming crashing down on their end. And proof of that, again, is this Knight of Swords reversed. And we keep seeing this in the energy. We keep seeing it. And, and they're not talking about it. They aren't. Uh, not at all. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
but you are heavy on their mind. This Ten of Wands is proof of that, and the Hermit and the Pre-Shuffle is proof of that, and they want to talk to you. This Eight of, eight of Wands that wouldn't go away is proof of that, and this ain't done. I see the Judgment card here. It ain't done, and it may look like it's done at some point. You'd be like, oh, old Steve got it wrong, you know, or whoever reader you're watching, old so-and-so got it wrong. Nope. I'm telling you it's done. This judgment card, man, it's a, it's popping up. So anyway, there's your cure for cancer here for May 23rd, 2021. It's a timeless reading, so it doesn't matter. You could be watching it in 2027. It don't matter. Um, use this reading and the previous one uh, for sure and this one and the all signs reading I just put up today as your baseline sort of additional information for your June reading and I promise you in that June June reading extended <laughs> I'm going to go mad on this person because this person is the energy I don't even have a word to describe what the energy of your person is it's almost as though and I'm not saying this happened okay I'm not saying it I'm using it as an example it's almost as though you said something like like you have a social media like a Twitter or something or a blog or something and you said well I'm going away now I'm gonna to have to be gone uh, it's farewell yeah like, like you did some farewell post or something right that's the way this person is reacting to the energies right now now I don't think many of you if I might be talking to one person who did that but I think what's happening here is this person is is losing something on one side you know how when we lose something we like to quickly replace it with something else right uh, my, my mother used to teach my sister all the time because she my mom did this uh, the, the, make sure you've got the next one lined up before you break up with the one you're with that's uh, that's the lesson my mother gave my sister <laughs> that girl I'll tell you uh, we get a lot of losers at that Thanksgiving table. I tell you what, that's a terrible policy. It's it's awful because you just grab whatever. This person's lucky because they got you to grab as the next one lined up, and it's a big connection. But uh, I tell you what, I mean, that's how I can describe what I'm feeling. You know, the energy comes in as feelings, and we have to we have to then translate it into words. Uh, those of us that read energy, and it's very difficult to translate feelings into words. Most people can't do it. That's why divorce courts are full. You know, I love you translates into you don't you never do the dishes so you're shit. You know, it, 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 you know it's just what happens. But anyway, there's something big going down. We're going to look into it. Keep an eye out for your June reading. It'll be up in a couple of days. And uh, whew, check out that all signs for sure. I hope this was helpful, Cancer. I try to keep you up to date. Tries to help. It, it, this helps every sign. It does. I, I know. Uh, I wish every sign watched these because this is, again, it, it's almost an all signs reading. It's called Cure for Cancer, but it's almost all signs, right? <laughs> kind of a thing like that. So anyway, uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new here, check my timeless set. Watch your monthlies. Uh, check Definitely check, check the timeless set and make sure uh, you, any title that resonates with you is for you. Okay, don't matter. They're all timeless if they're in the timeless playlist. All right, so there you go. All right, Cancer. Good luck. I'll talk to you again on your June reading.